column of ID, auto increment, primary key, and username, varkar, length of 30. message and message is going to be longer so text and then message time int and the character length of 10 save that And now we're going to create a new JavaScript file. And it's going to call be called uh, sendmessage.js. So what this JavaScript file is going to do is it's going to uh, empty out the message box each time a uh, user presses send so that user can start typing in the next new message. This one will be called js dot send message dot js. And we're going to create a new file send message dot js. So inside here, we're going to open up the jQuery function. And when a user create, when a user types in, uh, when a user presses the button for send, uh, this is it's going to run this function. Message content this is going to retrieve the username which is in a span uh, span tag and if the message box is not blank, then we're going to run this function. We're going to run an Ajax function. Data is going to be username. message is going to be message or the variable message data type is going to be get URL or the um, PHP file that's going to be read is going to be send message PHP success we're going to run this function empty out the message content area val is going to be null new message content area so the value of that will be null and we're going to create a PHP file first called new message.php new Message.php. And if we go back here, if 
refresh, sign in, and type in a message. This is going to go to blank. Actually, it's not working right now. View message content. Not sure why it's not going blank, so I'm just going to do a brief testing. Oh, I see. Um, we haven't included this new JavaScript file. No, actually, we have. Send message. Js. Do a brief test. Okay, so that works. So oh here here's the mistake. There's a spelling error. Message send. That's why I wasn't working. So go back here. Now if we type in send, it should go blank. Wait a second. Something else is not right. I create an alert high here. Let's see if that does something. So that's working. It's working up until high. If message is not equal to this, or Oh, I see. Instead of creating a file called uh, send message, I created a file called uh, new message. So I'm going to change that file name to send message, and now that should work. So no need to create this. Go back here and type in a message and click send. Now it should disappear. There you go, it disappears. So next thing we want to do is we want to actually uh, send the message to the database. So if we go back to our database, we have our table called uh, chat history. And we're going to enter the message data into the chat history uh, table. So we're going to create a PHP file. Six. So 
So we have two variables here. You have username variable and the message variable using the get type. So we're going to create a variable called username. And then we're going to create a message time variable. So we get the message time and use the time object. And then create a query. Insert into chat history. Insert into chat history table following variables username, message, and message time. The values of username, message, and message time. to run this query. And there you go. So if we go back to our chat box and um, Sign in, message goes here, we'll click send. There you go, in this, the chat, in the chat history uh, table we have uh, username hi, me, uh, message, and then the message time in Unix code. So now that we have messages here, I'm just going to type in a few extra messages. And if we go back here, refresh, we have three messages in total. Now we're going to use uh, Java, jQuery and PHP to display the messages in the actual message box now that it's actually entered into the database. To do that, we're going to create some new files. First one I'm going to create is called displaychat.js. So in the JavaScript uh, folder, we're going to create a new file called displaychat.js. Open up a function. And we're going to create some uh, jQuery to always scroll down to the bottom for the um, for for the uh, chat box area when, once there's a lot of messages that are being displayed so that the recent chat box messages are uh, displayed down below. So we're gonna create a variable called scroll height. Document get element by ID. Chat area. Scroll height. So this retrieves the scroll height for the um, for 
the div box with the ID of chat area. And we're going to use this to um, create the attribute for the scroll scroll bar to go down all the way to the bottom for the chat box area if there's an overflow of um, scroll height. And we're going to uh, refresh this every half a second. So we're going to refresh the chat box every half a second. So set interval create a function 